Hey guys, in today's episode, we take on Brighton, Porto in the Champions League, and Derby County. You don't want to miss this one. Stay tuned. Real quick before we get into today's episode, make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button to help support the channel to get the video seen by more and more people and I can make more and more videos for you guys. So I'm sitting here in Tottenham Hotspur's locker room waiting to get at it. So let's go. And here we are. We are about to finish out October in today's episode with Brighton, Porto in the Champions League and Derby County at home. Uh, two away games and one home game. And then we jump into November with Chelsea, Porto, Man City, Newcastle, Locomotive Moscow, and Sheffield United. And then we have those matches, and then we jump into the transfer window to see what we can do. We have a ton of money, 277.29 million pounds right now, 355 million in profit. So things are looking up. And let's jump on in and take Brighton as we sit fifth in the table. I'm ready. Hope you guys are ready. Thank you for attending today's match. The Amex Please Stadium as we take on Brighton on a beautiful winter night. Blocked the cross that he sent in. Zaracho comes down with it. Loft his cheek. Oh, nice defense from Lo Celso, and we are going the other way. We have to slow it down a little bit. Out to Kane. Dybala. Oh, might have something here. Shoots and scores. Cunha off the assist from Dybala. No one saw him running up into position, and there we go. 1-0 Tottenham, 12 minutes in. For to Pulisic. Oh, nice ball. The American gets in the box. The pass. The shot and the score. Cunha with his second. He's on a double already before the halftime whistle even blows. There we go. Assist from Pulisic. Nice pass there to Rodrigo. Kane. Was Pulisic onside? Oh, he's offside anyway. He's trying to tap it over to Kane. And just a leg offside. About 10 minutes until the halftime whistle blows. Still up two goals here. The Bala. Into Kane. Kane sends it into Cunha. Oh, oh, header Kane. And it is 3 0. That's what I'm talking about there. Two goals and an assist for Cunha. Love to see it. The header, and the keeper had no shot at that. Over the top. Don't think that's going to stay in, and it doesn't. Hernandez up to Dybala. Taps it to Kane. Oh, thought we had something for a second. There we go. Back again, Dybala. Shoots and scores. 4-0, 55 minutes in. What a shot from Dybala. A nice setup from Kane for his second assist. Things are looking good. Beautiful setup. And there we go. The ball is third of the year. Deli Alley gets his first touch, finds Lo Celso. Back to Deli Alley. Terrible first touch from him, and he loses possession. Header to Kane. Not, oh, is he on? Shot denied. The rebound cleared out by the Brighton defender. Ah, I thought he was offside. Kind of held back a little bit. Rodrigo with the touch. 
Oh, the nice move. The pass, and he cannot get it to him. Nice defending. Mindy comes up with it. Ten minutes to go. Pulisic. Taps, shoots, and scores. What a setup for Dybala, and what a shot from Dybala. 5-0 Brighton. Seems like we're always just killing Brighton with goals. Beautiful pass from Pulisic and Dabala finds a way to get it in. Stabs at it and just crossbody. Bang. Oh, Deli Alley to Pulisic. And there's the final whistle. Tottenham 5, Brighton 0. Great showing today from the Spurs boys. And we get ready to go back to the Champions League against Porto. So let's head to the office real quick. Take care of Deli Alley. Uh, great performance. No problem. I need to play him more than I do. Just kind of forget to rotate that squad as much as I should. And then the headlines of the day. The Bala Bags winner against Brighton. Spurs keep winning. Manchester City winners against rivals. Chelsea defeat rivals 2-0. Deli Alley impresses again and Spurs can count on Harry Kane. Kane grabs September Player of the Month award. So you like to see that. So here we go as we are about to take on Porto in the Champions League. We made a few changes to the lineup. Uh, Lunin is going to come in as keeper. Region is in there at left back. Skriniar is in there at center back. Uh, Messi comes on as our right winger, and that's how we're going to go today in the 4-3-3. And Porto go with the 4-4-2, and you can see their, their lineup right there. So let's get to it. And here we are at the beautiful stadium, the Estadio des Le Arts, as we get ready to take on Porto in the Champions League. Kane with the early interception. And just like that, we almost lose possession. But here comes Cunha. Oh, we try to get it to Dybala. Just doesn't happen that way. They're looking to break us down. But easier said than done. Great tackle. And we get it out to Messi. Oh, nice pass to Pereira. Can he outrun? Passes it back. The setup, the shot, and the score from the Bala. And there we go. 23 minutes in. Tottenham 1. Porto nil. That's what we're looking for there. On the run. Taps it out. Almost went to Pulisic, but kept it on the left foot. Bang. If we grab three points here today. We are going to be sitting pretty in the, the group stage. Oh, the Celso just comes up and takes it from him, but we lose it. And Porto grab it right back. Pereira's looking for something. Hernandez goes out to meet him. The shot and Luna with the diving save. Pulisic on the attack here. Lo Celso in the Cunha. Oh, to Deli Alley. Oh, he finds Pereira out. Blocks the the cross attempt. Looking for somebody. Skriniar plays it in Lo Celso. Taps it to Deli Alley. Oh, nice ball to Lo Celso. And loses it on the pass. And just like that, we have back with possession here. Taps it out to Messi. And Messi loses it. Gets it right back. Cross and knocked out for a corner. 59 minutes in. Porto make a substitution here. And let's see. Pulisic sends this one in. Kane. I don't know if Kane sent that one away. Oh, now I have a chance. Cunha shoots and scores. The man is on fire. What a run of, of uh, games he has had here recently. 
And Matthias Cunha puts us up 2-0 over Porto. With about 30 minutes left to go in this match. Deli Alley. Onto Pulisic, I believe. And Cunha knocks that one in. Right foot. <laughs> Even on this awkward angle. Keeper almost got his hand on it. And we come up with possession. Porto have kind of fallen apart here. Oh, was Pulisic onside? He shoots. Oh. <laughs> that was a tough angle to score from. But he gave it his best shot. In the box, Hernandez comes down with that one. This could be dangerous for us. Just going to play it forward. And, of course, we don't come down with that one. The lob up. And Donna, uh, Lunin gets there to make the punch. Got about 12 minutes to go in this one. Still up two. Oh, kind of cleared that one out. Finally something. Skriniar comes up. Nice tackle. And that's out for a corner. Comes in. And we just keep that one instead of clearing it out for nothing. Nice ball up to Cunha. Oh, to Kane. And he finds Pulisic, who has the speed. Oh, that defender's pretty fast, too. He shoots and he scores, and this one is all over. We're going to be at nine points after this one in the group stage. Hopefully, uh, Lokomotiv Moscow can pull off an upset of PSG, and then we'll be really set. Outruns the defender, finds the angle that time, and the American gets the goal. First one in the Champions League this year. On the attack. And there's the final whistle. The home crowd is not happy. Pulisic goal seals FC Porto defeat. In club news, Donnarumma is happy with Spurs. And the team of the week has been announced. Harry Kane, Dabala, Cunha are on it. So congrats to them. Jermaine Lone, we did have a loan come in and we agreed to it. So he will be leaving at the transfer window. Short-term loan, so I think that's six months. And then he'll probably come back. I believe there's an option to buy. And here we are against Derby County. The last match of the episode. We are at home, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. We go with Pulisic, Weya, Lozano up top, Deli Alley, Busquet, and Lo Celso in the midfield, and Reggion Sul, Scriniar, Dumfries, and Donnarumma in goal. And on the bench, I'll show you real quick. We go with Parrot, Gutierrez, Rodon, uh, Garnier, Rodrigo, Cunha, and the youngster goalkeeper, uh, Prieto. So let's see if we can take down Derby County with this lineup. And just having a little bit of audio issues with this one. Not sure what, where that's coming from. So apologies for that. Sul. Oh, terrible ball. Man, Derby County is playing well to start this one. I know we got a bunch of... Uh, Youngsters and reserve players there that need to gel together, but we still should have some more chances here than we've had. Two minutes before the whistle. And let's see if Derby County can get an attempt here. And they just might. And Donnarumma makes the great save. Oh, man. Oh, bad pass to Basquet. Was difficult kind of one-time uh, type pass, though. So we can excuse that one this time. Bird? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Shot. Oh, God. Oh, man. He just kind of tapped that one. And it went in. Beats Donnarumma. 
Marriott with the first goal, one nil Derby County over Tottenham. Thought we were gonna get there. He has to cut it back and he kind of just passes it into the back of the net. Roden's right there. All right, so now we need to focus on, oh, that was terrible. We need to focus on getting, getting the equalizer and Bird gets the yellow. Oh, and the Troy Parrot loses it. And back to the keeper. So we got about 20 minutes to go here. And it hasn't been looking good for us scoring goals here. And they make a change. And we're going to make a change too. Rodrigo's going to come on for Lozano. And Cunha on for Biscuit. Oh, a lot of substitutions. Yeah. Uh, at least we have Rodrigo on. Play it back. Get it to Deli Alley. Troy Parrott shoots and scores. Oh, out of nowhere. Wasn't expecting it to come that quick. And there we go. Troy Parrott gets the goal. The big goal to equalize. Deli Alley with the assist. Troy Parrott is, he feels quick to play with. So, might be giving him some more time when I can. Roden. Oh. Nice ball. Rodrigo. Oh. No. And there's your final whistle. We had the game winner. I should have either passed it sooner or should I just went for the shot with Busquet. Oh, that would have been huge for him. He would have had a game winner under his belt. And we dropped two points here. Oh, disappointing. Troy Parrot gets him a goal. Hero Parrot grabs equalizer for Spurs. That saved us. Definitely. And we are. Let's take a look at the standings real quick. Chelsea up top. Man City. Watford. After 10 games is up there. Spurs in fourth. 5-4-1. Four, Only one defeat. Too many draws though for sure. Liverpool Wolves. And your early relegation zone is Southampton, Newcastle, and Derby County. Derby County was 0-0-9 before playing us. They scored three goals, gave up 19. <laughs> and they drew us 1-1. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible outcome. Let's take a look at our youth squad. 79-89. Center back, 16-year-old German. Has a few uh, green boxes there. 75, 81 right back from Spain. Only 15 so far. Uh, Vidal, 78 to 86. 16 year old Frenchman. He played left mid or right wing. Uh, looking decent so far. 76, 82, 16 year old. He's only a 45 uh, overall right now. So he might be getting cut soon. Boulet. Uh, acceleration agility is looking nice. Ball control for 15 year old uh, Lehman 79 to 85, 15 year old, and he is looking real nice so far. Curve, free kick accuracy, long pass, short pass in the green, passing agility and vision. So he looks like a playmaker for sure. Lecoq, who's our superstar in the making, just waiting, is 15 years old, 55 overall, 78 agility, 76 balance. 77 ball control, 71 dribbling, 5-star skill moves. Berea, 16-year-old Cam, up and coming, 61 overall, 85-94 Dreyer. Uh, let's see, Green, he only has curves so far. Kraus, 78-84, to 84, only a 50 overall so far. Uh, but he did have dives into tackles so he has a trait already I'm not sure what that says that's supposed to be a cue for anything and that is our youth squad so that's it for today's episode hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please leave a like that's all I ask to help support the channel subscribe if you haven't to catch all the career modes we have a new career mode coming soon uh, let me know your input in the comments below let me know if you want to see Bundesliga La Liga or Serie A we're going to go 
we're gonna leave England for this one. Uh, so let me know in the comments below, and then we'll talk about. It. I'm leaning towards Bundesliga. If you have a certain team you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below uh, as well. And as always, until next episode, you guys take care.